hello students so i hope all of you are safe and sound so today uh, before moving into today's lecture i just want you to give an advice on something so be safe and sound always wash your hands and be careful when you're dealing with the outsiders uh, so how was the last week lab test i hope everyone has done well so by next week i'm hoping to release your marks hopefully and all right so we will move on to the today's lecture so today we are going to discuss about something that you are very familiar with uh, all of you have done correlation coefficient when it comes to business statistics you have covered the basics so in this module we are going to learn as to how you can generate the correlation coefficient using microsoft excel but before going uh, towards microsoft excel i know you when i know you guys i know that you can't remember what is meant by correlation coefficient so why don't we start with the basic introduction as to what correlation coefficient means so correlation is a measure of the linear relationship between two variables x and y which does not depend on the units of measurement for example if we take the x variable or the independent variable as hours of studies to which extent what is to which extent there is a relationship in between hours of studies and the dependent variable exam results we call it as the correlation so the correlation coefficient is the measurement of correlation which is also known as Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. So if you are going to measure the correlation in between two variables as x and y, we call it as the correlation coefficient or else we also call it as Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. So correlation, so when you go into the industry, if you become a business analyst, it's very important for you to know as to what kind of a relationship is existing in between two variables. For example, suppose that you are in a particular business firm and you are spending an amount of uh, spending an amount worth of hundred thousand as the advertising cost, and if you want to know if you spend uh, two hundred thousand worth of money for advertising what would be your sales in the following month so to do that you can use the correlation coefficient the correlation coefficient usually denoted by r between two variables um, is a unit tree measure of the strength of the linear relationship between x and y the correlation between any two variables is always between minus one and plus one so I hope you can remember even in business statistics I have clearly told you that when it comes to correlation coefficient this figure should be always in between minus 1 and plus 1. So suppose that once after you have generated the correlation coefficient if you are getting a value like 2, 3 or 1.9, 1.1. So a value which is exceeding minus 1 and plus 1 that means the value that you have got is wrong. You have went something wrong. You have gone something wrong you are wrong in somewhere okay so always this value correlation coefficient has to be in between minus one and plus one a correlation near plus one means that x and y have a strong positive relationship so if the uh, if the um, two values are if the value has to be in between minus one and plus one if the value that you are getting is more closer towards plus one that means you have a positive linear relationship but if you have a value which is more towards the negative one or minus one which means that you have a negative linear relationship that is uh, so based on the uh, on the value that you are getting you can determine as to what kind of a relationship is there so when it comes to uh, the relationship in between two variables you can use scatter diagram to graphically represent the relationship in between two variables so if you look at the graph a you can see that there is a in here in graph a you can see a linear 
relationship since the gradient is towards this side so the gradient when the x value is increasing the y value has also been gradually increases so we say that in between x and y there is a perfect positive correlation why because the r value the correlation coefficient is 1 plus 1 if we move into part b here you can see the plots are little bit scattered around not that much scattered but they are little bit scattered around so if you see a scatter a diagram like this we know by looking at the diagram we say that there is a again there is a positive relationship and there is a strong positive relationship the reason why we are saying it's a positive relationship positive strong relationship is because we can see these flat uh, these plots are not that much scattered around but they are situated closely to each other so here since again the plots are towards this side so when the x value is increasing the y value has also seems to have been increasing so here we say that there is a positive correlation when y increases in a straight line fashion as x increases so when we look at the the, the scatter diagram in part c you can see there is a little correlation the reason why we say that there is a little correlation is because not like here it's not moving towards this side it's we don't see a relationship it's, it's more like no relationship see a little correlation is seen when we move to part d the scatter diagram d you can see unlike in a and b uh, the plots are towards the downside the gradient is towards downside when x is increasing y has y has been decreasing y decreases when x increases so we say that there is a negative correlation so here there is a perfect in part e scatter diagram e you can see there is a perfectly negative correlation because you can see there is a linear relationship from this plot to this plot this plot to this plot there is a linear relationship and r equals minus so based on the values that you are getting for correlation coefficient you can determine as to what kind of a relationship is there in between the two variables so a correlation of zero indicates that the two variables have no relationship to each other thus if one changes we cannot reasonably predict what the other variables might do for example if you take that uh, the uh, independent variable is color of color of the uh, color of the top that i am wearing and the gpa of the student so the color of the top that the lecturer in charge is wearing and the gpa of the students so once after you have run a correlation uh, using microsoft excel and if you are getting the value as zero it means that based on the x variable that you have taken so what was the x variable the color of the blouse that the lecture in charge is wearing is not depending on the gpa of the student so that there is no relationship there is no correlation a positive correlation here the second point is a positive correlation coefficient indicates a linear relationship for which one variable increases as the other one also increases so where you have if you have a positive correlation if the x keeps on increasing that means ultimately the y is also keeps on increasing whereas in a negative correlation the other way around is happening when x keeps on increasing y keeps on reducing or decreasing so here uh, this is an output where i have got uh, the correlation value as 0 0.84 so i told you this correlation coefficient should always be in between minus 1 and plus 1 so 0 0.84 is a value in between minus 1 and plus 1 so to, to which a leads more closer it's more closer towards plus 1 so if you have got a correlation coefficient as 0 0.84 that means you can interpret that the relationship in between hours of study 
and exam results there is a strong positive correlation in between these two variables the relationship between hours of studies and exam results there is a strong positive correlation people who studies more hours so in other words it simply means that people who studies more hours tended to do better on the exam those who study few hours tended to do worse on the exam because since there is a positive relationship between hours of studies and the exam results it simply means that those who spend more hours on study there is a high probability that those students would get good results but if a student is spending less number of hours in their studies their exam results would not be that good okay so here it's again another uh, graphical illustration of correlation so here it says positive values denote positive linear correlation for example a positive value like plus 8 uh, sorry plus 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.6 those are positive linear correlations negative values denote negative linear correlation so if the value is more closer towards minus 1 we say that they, those values denotes more negative linear correlations if you are getting the correlation as zero it denotes that there is no relationship though no linear correlation so here i have given you some values so based some value ranges based on these value ranges you can determine whether the particular correlation is weak moderate or strong so if it's in between 0 and 0 0.1 we say it's very weak if it's in between 0 point, 0.2 and 0 0.3 we say it's weak if it is between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 we say it's moderate for example if you have got the value as zero, minus 0 0.46 we say the relationship is since it's 0 0.4 5 or 0 0.46 we say there is a negative moderate moderate relationship negative moderate negative is because you are getting minus mark or the negative value and moderate simply you are going to determine whether there is a weak moderate or strong relationship based on these ranges and here units produced and y production so when it comes to business statistics you have taken use of this particular equation to come up with the correlation value and but since you are going to be masters in using excel in using excel it's very easy for you to come up with the correlation coefficient so i uh, i'll show you uh, i'll show you a demonstration so this uh, this particular you have to uh, remember the particular formula so you can either use corel uh, this formula or else you can use the data analysis tool back where you, we have enabled by using us an extra effort so you know how to make available the data analysis tool back now using the add-in uh, add so i'll show you how to come up with the correlation coefficient so we'll directly go into this particular exercise before going into that exercise I'll, I'll show you just as to how to come up with the correlation value so if this is your So look at this data set. In this data set, you have the performance score and the overall rating. So we will take performance score and the overall rating. So here, performance score would be your x variable or the independent variable and overall rating would be your y uh, variable or the dependent variable. So if you want to come up with the correlation coefficient, 
so here you have to tab it so what is array 1 array 1 is the performance scope and what would be your array 2 array 2 is where you have your dependent variable okay so you are getting a correlation coefficient of correlation coefficient is 0 0.779 so what does this mean this simply means that by looking at this value what can you say what kind of a relationship is there in between performance score and overall rating so there is a strong positive relationship in between performance score and overall rating that simply means that if the performance score keeps on increasing no doubt the overall rating also keeps on increasing why because there is a positive correlation in between performance score and overall rating so other than the, this option there's another option available for you to uh, come up with the correlation value that option is so you know how to make this data analysis tool pack available by now because from the first lecture onwards i have been telling you how to make this available if you can't remember you, you have to go to file so uh, as I have previously told you, this data analysis tool pack is not readily available in Microsoft Excel. To make it available, you have to go to File, go to Options. Here, you have to put, uh, do an add-in. So here, you have Excel add-ins. When you click on Go, you have to tick off these uh, options and click OK. So once after you have clicked OK, you get the data analysis tool pack available. So there are a lot of things that you can do by using data analysis tool pack. So when you click on data analysis tool pack, you can see here also the correlation. Uh, the option is available. Just try using the correlation option in data analysis tool pack. So here you are asked what is the input range. So here the input range, I am going to select the input range from performance score to 187 and overall rating to 77 so that would be our all the input ranges both performance score and overall rating is going to be our input range ranges so these two variables are grouped by the column this side you have columns this side you have rows so this particular data set is grouped by the columns so choose columns and since I have the labels in first row, so here performance score and overall rating are our labels. So choose labels in first row. I take the, uh, uh, the output of the the output or the correlation coefficient in the same worksheet. I would be getting it over here. Okay, sorry. So, 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 sorry here we have to choose the input range and here okay everything is okay so here output range i'll be choosing now click ok so here look at this output here you are getting performance score and overall rating so this is the output that you are getting as the correlation coefficient when you use the data analysis tool pack. This particular output you have got by using the formula. So here, look at this particular output where you have, uh, which you have generated by using data analysis tool pack. This side, on the rows you have performance score and overall rating. On the column side also you have performance score and overall rating. So here, if you look at performance score and performance score, you are getting a value as 1. The reason why you are getting a value as 1, why? Because the same variables are there, right? Performance score and performance score, same variable. That means in between these two variables, the uh, relationship has to be a perfectly positive one. But look at this value. This value is simply about the relationship between overall rating and performance score. You are getting a value as 
seven seven so this value is equal to the value that you have got here so which simply means that may may you be using the core the corel formula or may you be using the data analysis tool path you would be getting the same results at the end okay so that's how you can generate the correlation coefficient so here you are asked to visually represent the relationship between two variables using the scatter diagram uh, if you are asked to uh, show the relationship in between two variables using a scatter diagram so here you have the scatter diagram option here so then you have to you can either select data go to add so here the series select We'll try to check whether it's coming. So look at here, you are getting the scatter diagram. In our next video, I'll show you how to come up with the scatter diagram.